The Territory Government is still yet to declare Limon National Park, which the old Country Liberal Party first proposed back in 1991. So 20 years we've been waiting, and uh, 20 years Aboriginal people have been denied their land rights to have ownership of that land and to derive an income from it. We want to see the park declared. We don't want to see that area mined and uh, big destructive uh, iron ore export facilities developed down on the Limon Bight coast. Um, we want to see jobs for Aboriginal people from looking after the country and smaller scale high value returns. You only have to look at uh, the Pilbara in Western Australia to see what iron ore mining has done to that landscape and yet it has still failed to deliver long term economic benefits for many Aboriginal people uh, amongst massive iron ore mines. So we're determined to get Limon National Park declared. Uh, we like to work with the Mara and Alawa Aboriginal people to uh, help them secure some greater rights to their country and uh, economic benefits. And uh, we want to work with fishermen and tourists who value Limon Park as a remote uh, place to visit, see nature, catch fish and uh, find a very large area that uh, has still not been ruined. So that's our goal. Surely Australia can't just have a quarry vision for developing a future, particularly in the north and the remote areas. Um, Limon National Park is 60% the size of Kakadu. It's a massive area and it's never been fully funded in terms of on-ground land management or provided jobs for Aboriginal people. Surely in this day and age, we need to keep these areas special. It's a very special area. Australia is the only developed country with a large tropical piece of real estate that is in relatively good condition. And Limon is about as good a condition as you can get these days. Uh, so Limon should be right up there in terms of its values, uh, its heritage values, its protection, and its uh, conservation economy is Kakadu, uh, Cape York, uh, and the Kimberley. It's been protected from major development and the major impacts of land clearing and dams and mining and gas plants for a long time, but that's changing. So now we need Australians and people from all over the world who want these large natural areas well protected to help support uh, saving the Ropa River region, declaring Limon National Park and uh, keeping uh, big bad developments like open cut iron ore mining and major export facilities off the southwest Gulf region.